Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data. In this video, you'll learn how you can classify your content for top level analysis using content grouping inside Google Analytics. For example, if you're looking after a home and style blog, you could create content groupings to reflect the content themes on your blog. Using content groupings, you could classify your content as DIY, decorating, and renovating. This will then allow you to understand your top performing content themes. So let's take a look at the different ways we can configure content grouping inside Google Analytics. Let's get started. There are three different ways you can define content groups inside Google Analytics. The first option is to make use of the Google Analytics tracking code. This is where you actually feed in the particular content category directly to Google Analytics from the page that is being viewed by someone on your website. You can implement this using Google Tag Manager as well. The second option is extraction. This is where you actually pull a component of, say, the URL out and use this as the name of the particular content group category. And the final option is to define rules. I like this option because it gives me more control and it's more streamlined and easy to configure than the tracking code. But you can use whichever option you like and you can even use a combination of these methods too. Before we jump in and look at configuring our content grouping inside Google Analytics, I wanted to show you an example. First off, here we can see the standard page report from Google Analytics. This shows us all our different content broken down by the individual page by URL on our website. So this is the default report we'd find. Then if we define our own custom content group, we can then aggregate these different pages into different categories. In this example, we've defined the different theme of a blog and the individual pages are now rolled up into these different categories. We have interiors, interviews and advice. This allows us to perform more top level analysis to understand the content themes or areas that are driving the highest level of engagement and performance on our website. So now let's jump into Google Analytics and look at how we configure content groupings. You will need edit permission inside Google Analytics to configure content groupings. And we're going to start by heading to the admin section. Then I can select content grouping under the view and click on new content grouping. I can name my content group. And importantly, you can also see the three different options. So there's grouping by tracking code, extraction, or using rules. So if we click on enable tracking code, we can see here what we'll need to do is we'll need to actually send the data directly to Google Analytics. Again, this can be done using Google Tag Manager. We'll need to add details about the particular content group in the code for the particular page that's been fired into Google Analytics. So that's the first option. The second option is extraction, and this is where we're actually going to pull out part of each page, page title, or screen name into the name of the particular content group classification. So you can see here in the example forward slash accessories, and then we're using the regular expression to grab that particular subfolder. This will now be the name for our content group. And finally, my preferred option for getting started quickly is using rules. We can name our rule, and then we need to decide how we're going to define our rule. We can select from page, page title, or screen name, and then we can select how we're going to match. So for example, we could just do contains, or we could use a regular expression. In this example, I'm selecting contains, and I'm going to enter interiors. And this will now mean that any page where the URL contains interiors will now be classified into the interiors page category. Then I can add additional rules based on other themes of my content. These rules will cascade, so the first rule will be applied before the second and subsequent rules. So that's how we can create content groupings inside Google Analytics. Once we've created our content groupings, the data will begin to be processed based on the content grouping. We'll see this data moving forward inside our reports. To access your content grouping, you'll need to head into the behavior reports. For example, I can navigate to the All Pages report, and then across the top of the report, I can select my content grouping. 
And as we can see here, we can also configure multiple content groupings, which allows us to perform analysis on different content classifications. So that's how you can classify your content inside Google Analytics using content grouping. Tell me how you're using content grouping. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please like it so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.